Hello everybody, welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Online multiplayer action. Today we're going to be playing some Team Deathmatch Ground War on the map WMD and I will be using the M14 with Warlord. My two attachments are Grip and Extended Magazines. I have Hardline Pro and Marathon as my other perk, Tomahawk, C4, and Decoy are my equipment and in this video I will be telling you how to win a team deathmatch that was a pretty sweet C4 kill so I get this a lot I get a lot of people asking me in comments and messages white boy why don't you give a tutorial on how to play better because I am a YouTube guru and I, I notice I've been posting a lot of entertainment value videos lately, not so much tips and tricks, and I'm starting to implicate that ever so slightly. And I thought I would just give a lot of tips and tricks. So right here, you gotta see me never stop moving for the most part. Well, no, I'm, I'm stopped, I, I stopped, but I got my back to this wall so no one can can get me from the back and the only place they can really come to is right here and there's a ladder on the other side but I see a teammate looking out the window in that middle building so I should be okay so uh, the, f the first tip I can give on how to win a team deathmatch because I, I I'm always in this situation I'm full of team of nubs there's a lot of nubs on a team and I'm not saying they're not good but sometimes they do really bad so I guess maybe yeah, they're not too good. And I'm pretty sure you guys encounter this a lot. Like, right there. Why Why would he try to steal my sentry gun? You know that I'm going to get it. Why don't you play and try to get a few kills and not be greedy and take my care package? I was going to utilize my first perk, which is Hardline Pro. And what that does, you can double tap square and you can get a new care package. You can test your luck again. So I got the sentry gun right here, and I'm just trying to stay alive. One of the best tips I can give you to win a free-for-all, or a team deathmatch, or ground war, whatever it is, stay alive. It's not too... I mean, it is difficult to stay alive, and I don't know if that was the best place to put my sentry gun, but in order for me to stay alive, I have to give that out there, and it's got to cause a distraction, as you got to see in a little bit. It's not going to give me any kills. Oh, it just got me a kill. I, but he flashed it right there, so my sentry gun's flashed. But I, I get to kill him because he was distracted by my sentry gun. And by that, if he would just flash me solely, he would have killed me right away. So what I can say about staying alive, and you're going to see this later on in the gameplay. I do what you're not supposed to do. So I thought this was a pretty good match to post what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. And right there, I picked up my dogs, and that probably guaranteed us the victory right there. I got a 10 kill streak, and that's really all you need to win. You're going to see at the later part of the match when it's over, I'm going to highlight my team score, and there was only one person who went positive. And I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but if it wasn't for me, I'm pretty sure this team would have lost, because it was a pretty close game. I think it was 9,000 to 10,000 the score was, and... Right here, you see me calling a chopper gunner and my dogs at the same time, which I always like to do. I I call in both of my kill streaks right right away, just so we can get that momentum going. And I, I did die. You see that I'm not in that building. You would see a little green diamond if I was there, but I died. But it doesn't matter that I died right there because I got my kill streak, and I could you know try to stay alive and use my M14 and get a few more kills but I I thought to myself it's not worth it why not just get a get a, a boatload of kills and right now we're barely winning we're only winning by 13 points and I I respawn and get that nice little headshot right there but we're only winning by 14 kills and we got a dog out and or several dogs and my chopper gunner out and Normally, you would have a way bigger lead than that. So, these teammates aren't really helping me too much. 
They're going one to one. And for me and for us to win this game, I have to go positive. I have to have like an 8 KD. So if you're stuck full of team of nubs, and I know that it happens a lot. You you want to see that guy that I just killed? He's not being cautious. He, you're supposed to look both ways before you cross the street. You just run into the spawn. And that's not going to win in Black Ops. It's not. It's a different game. You can't rush. And you got to be cautious. Like, I don't want to say you got to camp. But I don't think I'm camping right here. I'm going like across this bridge. I'm, I'm moving. And I'm playing smart with my back to the wall my teammates are around me so they can really only come from a handful of positions they can come over there or they can run like a baby buffalo out in the field and I'm not gonna be an advantage I got the height advantage I don't got too much cover up here but then again I have the I have the advantage because no one's gonna come behind me I got the luxury that I got my back protected so, really all you got to do to win a team deathmatch with a team full of scrub bags is... See, see, I'm just running. I'm running around blindly. That's not what you got to do. What you got to do is stay alive and get one 10 kill streak or 11 kill streak or one high kill streak. And let the kill streaks go to work for you. And see, we're now, now we're only winning by 11 kills. And I was kind of stressed. I was thinking that we're going to lose because I wasn't doing too well at at this last half of the match and right here I die but it was probably a good thing because I see three people up there so I know that I'm a flank around I'm not gonna go directly there I'm gonna take my time go out of my way take a few extra seconds out my my gameplay and pick them all off which I do I think I picked two of them off but Stay alive. That that's really all you're gonna do. I know it sounds simple, but if you get one good kill streak and your team is a one KD, point six KD, and if you can get those thirty kills and ten deaths, you gotta get the win more times than that. And this is a ground war lobby. It might be a little bit different in terms of the numbers for six on six. And right here, I I was gonna rush them, and then I thought, why not? Let's go to the distance. You know, let's. Let's play the gun game. Let's let's see who can out shoot who. And I got one kill, and then there's a guy that I got a hit marker on. I could have probably killed him. I should have took my time a little bit more, but I I'm not gonna rush in there. Look at you know I got my back to the edge of the map, and I'm gonna play cautiously. I'm not gonna run through that doorway. I'm gonna peek through this window, and I pick him off. He's up there, and he's dead. And then there's his friend in here. I pick him off as well. Got my care package. Now we got a comfortable lead. And I, I'm i pretty comfortable in this position. I mean, I'm a little nervous. There's people around me. But or that was pretty sweet. I blew up the the, C, uh, the RC car with a clear, uh, C4. And I, I probably should have got that kill. But I was a little trigger happy. I just wanted to see in this position... I would rather get a few kills right away. I'd rather get a 1 to 1 KD because we got the lead. And I'll, I'll take that anytime. When there's a few kills left, get your 1 to 1 KD if you're. If you're. If you got a lead of 5 kills or, or 10 kills. If you can get 1 kill and 1 death when there's a few seconds left. Or a few kills left. left you're just playing the math and it, it, it makes sense. Numbers don't lie and you gotta win each and every time. But now I'm a little nervous. I see that they just got a quad with the airstrike, and now it's uh, two kills for us and one uh, four kills for them. So I was a little, little bit nervous, but we do pull, pull it off, and we have the victory. Thanks. Look at it. I'm gonna highlight the score: 1.4, 1.4, 0.5, 0.8, 0.8, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.
If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I love it when you like it and it helps my channel a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go do so for more Call of Duty tips and tricks added daily in high definition. I'm White Boy 7th Street and I'm going to get back to winning some team death matches. Because if you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby.